The lifeguards are busy, but they aren't the only ones with their hands full. KITV4's Brenton Awa has today's top story. Whether you're here to surf, sit and watch, or have to work, the first South Shore swell is already making an impact in town. Hawaiian Ocean's Waikiki usually has no problem renting out its surfboards, but it was a different story today. Today, I think they're scared. I think they're scared because they see the wig waves breaking, so they will now they want to take a lesson, so it's just really good for us. Kevin Okimoto is a surf instructor. He says the list for surf lessons usually books up just a half page log. Today, it was over a page and a half. Some of these people save all their money throughout their whole life, and all they want to do is just catch one wave and stand up. And that's what we do. Local surfers also filled Waikiki for what they say was the most consistent day in recent memory. All my life, pretty much. There was one about a couple years ago in September that was really big, but nothing like this that's consistent. Consistent for lifeguards, too. They rescued nine people and assisted another 39. Ocean safety officials say this was their busiest day of the year so far. They've already relocated personnel to help handle the crowded South Shore beaches, and they plan to work longer shifts during this swell. Most of our um, water activity has been assist. People with lost boards, people with broken boards, people uh, just getting caught in the current with floater mats. Now, ocean safety officials want to get a message out to surfers. They say if you break your board out on the water to make sure to bring all of its pieces back into shore, they don't want it to get swept out to sea and be misinterpreted as a missing surfer. Reporting in Waikiki, Brenton Oa, KITV4 News. All right.